Never eat Indian people. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a un nuevo episodio de Grand Theft Auto 5. Trevor Martin. You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. Grand Theft Auto 5. Vean muchas cosas. Mejor dicho, una cosa con la cual conversar. Eh, comerse un indio. Hay algunos rumores de que Trevor sería caníbal por comentarios como ese. O tal vez simplemente se refería a la comida india. ¿Qué? 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 Al menos aquí tenemos dinerillo. Bien, eh, tenemos un par de misiones, veo, con el buen Trevor. Así que vamos inmediatamente hacia a ello. Primero que todo, hay que subirse, por supuesto, a nuestro autito coquetón. Y bien, vamos a ver cuál es el... Ah, miren, tenemos una matanza acá. Ya que estamos acá cerquita de la matanza, ¿por qué no ir a la matanza, cierto? Y para qué seguir el camino establecido. Sí, en fin. <ríe> Como decía, para qué seguir el camino establecido si podemos lanzarnos por acá. Cierto, la manera más fácil de descender de una montaña. No lo hagan en la vida real, nunca está de más mencionarlo. Y perfectamente nos podemos lanzar por acá y llegamos a la carretera. Si es que los árboles pequeños nos siguen saboteando nuestro descenso. Pero bien, ¿vieron, ¿vieron que fue más sencillo que seguir el camino oficial? El camino oficial quería que siguiéramos el juego. Y así de la nada llegamos a la carretera. Bien, a la matanza. Al punto de masacre. O a la calavera o esqueletito, esqueletito o lo que sea que sea, lo que sea que esté ahí. Cuidado, hombre, en bicicleta. A ver, ¿qué está pasando acá? It's gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. For our friends from up north, eh? A boot? Don't even say it like that. There's a moose loose about the hoos. Fuck off, you hoosier. Hey, hey, what's hey, that about? Hey, hey, oh, Jesus. It's a faint fucking accent. Get out you of can here. hardly come on, tell. Come on. Hey, insurgent, shit. insurgent. We have contact. We have contact. Bien, 35 soldados. Acaba con 35 soldados. Tomen por burlarse del acento de Philip Terrebor. Philip Trevor, Trevor Philip, como usted quiera llamarle. Ouch. Bueno, llevo 10 bajas, así de la nada. Uy, viene un camión allá. Vimos cómo respondió, de la nada un camión. Toma. Viene un camión, viene un camión. Y por la izquierda también veo uno según el radar. Bien, Trevor contra el ejército de los Estados Unidos o algo así. Debo preocuparme más por mi cuenta, de no hacerme explotar yo mismo con... ¡Ay, un tanque! ¡What the fuck! <risa> glorified Boy Scout, le dijo. Como los sopranos le dicen, un Glorified Crew. Oh, shit, oh, shit. ¿Puedo destruir estas cosas, estos tanques? El tipo tiene peor puntería que yo, eso es bueno. Pero ¿cómo no le di ni una? Ahí sí, ya bien. 29, en serio, me preocupa mal tipo el tanque. ¿Cómo lo destruí un tanque? Bien, creo que lo destruí. Bien, se podía. No, no, no se lo hago reventar ahí, me voy a reventar yo. Ahora sí, reventalo. Perfecto, 34. Uno más, uno más. Está más cerca el que viene por acá. 
Es mucha la curvatura que hace la cosa esa. Ahí no sé ninguna. Uy, le llegó de pleno al tipo que se bajó justo de la puerta del pasajero ahí. Así dice el canadiense. Ay, no, otro de estos. ¡Uy! ¡No, pero! Me mató la explosión del camión que yo mismo hice reventar. Maravilloso, ¿no? Bien, masacre. Pauso, despauso. Cuando lleguemos, bueno, cuando tengamos las 35 bajas. Después de todo, ya lo habíamos conseguido. Así que nos vemos allá. Muy bien, gente papuya. Ya queda poquito para terminar el desafío. Hemos masacrado a un montón de soldados. Básicamente, muy sencillo. Simplemente evitar morir por la explosión que nosotros mismos provocamos. Así que dejemos que pase el, el jeep. Superado. Consigue seis tiros a la cabeza. Muy bien. Y guardamos la partida. Qué bonito. Y así es como corren los militares de Trevor Phillips. Y los militares pueden con Trevor. ¿Qué más da? Eh, ¿Qué dice acá? A memory of the illustrious men of San Andreas who willing gave their life for their country. Ok, este es un homenaje al... a los soldados de San Andreas. Bien, tomamos nuevamente nuestra camioneta y nos largamos a ver a qué puntito está más cerca acá. Eh, vamos a... a la B. Eh, Federal Investigation Bureau, esto es una misión para el FBI. Bien, ya que estamos acá, vamos hacia... Ah, ya. Sí, Camilo Sexto tiene copyright, así que cambiamos la canción. Ese tiene un toque muy San Andreas, muy GTA San Andreas. Pero bien, como todo tiene copyright acá, vamos a pagar. ¿Qué? 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 qué? ¿What the fuck este tipo? ¿Por qué aparecen sujetos extraños en el juego acá? I've been here for hours. ¿Y a ti qué te pasó, sujeto? Okay. Soon to be dead, best man. Pray to fuck, he still has the rings. Get to the church. In like five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 5 p.m. That was close. Bien, entonces básicamente estamos haciendo una especie de so hang out, no hang over, o qué es lo que pasó ayer en Latinoamérica, creo que se llama. Ahí matamos a la persona que estaba ahí. Well, stopped, went by, nobody nobody down, down window, point, mm, post in the middle of nowhere bit. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Come on. I want sort of details. Todos lo queremos, Trevor. Todos queremos esos detalles. Sordidos. Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Eh, eh, these things happen. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. As you do. Go on. Next thing I know, I wake up there with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Hmm. Boy, what's that perfume you're wearing? It smells cheap. I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God! All the hallmarks of a classic night out. I don't know what the problem is. Opino lo mismo que Trevor. How am I going to be able to say these vows, man? Muy bien, llegamos. A buscar tu okay. ropa, tu auto, lo demás. The car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in. And wait, while I get changed quickly, it's my father-in-law's. This little bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Bien, eh, ahora somos un conductor designado de la boda. I'm helping you at all. When will I learn to leave a naked man on the side of the road? 
Okay. At least I look like I'm getting married now. Sí, pero tu olor. No creo que diga lo mismo. Saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Y bien, contesta el padrino, no contesta. Who do you think it is? A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there. Don't move. I'm on my way. Bien, eh, asumir que no tiene los anillos. He's in a seafood diner on the way to the church. You step on it. We might make this. Only that douche would be eating lobster at a time like this. Entonces, a comer langostas. O al menos intentar recuperar los anillos, no sé. Ah, está al otro lado del río esto. What the fuck? No, quiero tomar un atajo. Aunque okay, podríamos tomarlo, pero no, no, porque no tengo idea cómo soy por allá. Así que mejor sigamos el camino establecido por esta ocasión. En especial porque tenemos un límite de tiempo, si no se han dado cuenta, abajo a la izquierda. Perdón, a la derecha. Ah, por mucho que me intentaba haber hacer, hecho volar al tipo en bicicleta, quiero cuidar el vehículo. Y bueno, aquí vamos a llegar al puente que nos va a permitir cruzar hacia esa otro peñasco de tierra. Ya, aquí estamos en línea recta, aquí podemos acelerar un poco y esperar que salga lo mejor. Y con lo mejor me refiero a no chocar con nada de camino hacia allá, especialmente dentro del de túnel. Lo bueno es que aquí el tipo ya se quedó bastante calmado ya. O tal vez se quedó pegado. Miren cómo mira. Como mira a Trevor. Lo mira de manera coqueta. Me sorprendo a mí mismo lo bien que hemos estado manejando hasta ahora y cuidando el auto del suegro de nuestro amigo acá que se va a casar. ¿Cuánto más? Ah, ok, estamos llegando, estamos llegando al local de las langostas. Y en serio, después de todo lo que hemos hecho, realmente espero que la recompensa sea decente. Enjoy your seafood platter, asshole. You better still have those rings. Yeah, chill. They're in my pocket. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. Dude, dude, that's so loud. My head's in pieces. <laughs> What in that? One for the history books. Do you have any idea what you put me through? It's my wedding day, you dick. I could have died. It's a rite of passage, bro. <laughs> You'll be telling the grandkids about this. I that told you it was a dumb fault. idea to do it right before the wedding. But the... Uh, no, you lay this guilt trip on me about tradition. A couple of beers, you said. We did only have a couple of beers, man. It was all the other shit. You always have to take it too far. Why the fuck did you strip me? <laughs> you stripped yourself, man. You don't remember? What? Don't worry, it's all on film. You were totally strung out, embarrassingly so. Way into the dark side, man. The fear had you, dude. And that was the point you thought it was a good idea to drive me into the wilderness and tie me up by myself. I'm not entirely sure how all that panned out, to be honest. I was tripping balls after you fucked that tiny stripper. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Let's just get to the church. Uh, bueno, he dijo que había video. So pissed off. Oh shit, it's gonna start any minute. Tranquilo, hombre, estamos acá. Y llegamos. Todos pueden casarse felices de la vida. She looks pissed. Babe, I'm so sorry. Dude, keep the car. This marriage is only happening because of you. Holy freaking crickets! You finally decided to show up. As long as we are married, I will never forget this. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come just... on. Aún te puedes arrepentir, amigo. Bien, eh, la recompensa fue el auto, el coche. No hubo dinero, no hubo nada. Y obviamente el coche lo voy a perder que al comenzar la próxima misión, así que... Bueno, al menos fue entretenido escuchar los desvaríos de una persona a punto de casarse. Por eso, gente, mejor no casarse. 
Pero es la fábrica de Clocking Bell. ¿O no? En fin, ¿qué tan lejos habremos quedado del punto? Al menos ya está marcado, así que el juego simplemente nos marcará. A ver si ya una vez por todas podemos iniciar esa misión con el Buru o el FBI. Uy, casi lo hacemos alcanzar el auto que está al frente. A ver, ¿en serio? ¿Qué tan lejos quedamos? Bastante, quedamos. Tenemos que cruzar todo el monte que está acá. Así que, bueno gente, voy a pausar acá y vamos a despausar cuando lleguemos al punto de iniciar la misión, si es que nada extraño ocurre antes de llegar otra vez. Así que nos vemos allá. Muy bien gente papuya, estamos ya llegando por fin al punto de inicio de la misión, así que vamos a ver qué rayos quiere el FBI ahora con el buen Trevor. Ah, es en las eh, industrias Philip Trevor. Imagino que estarán arriba. Con Raido Gaga. ¿no? Ay, 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 ay. Mira, estuve a punto de quejarme y, y comenzar a decir dónde están las escaleras. Y estaban justo ahí, está bien. Oh. Nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Bien, entonces eh, nuevamente vamos a comenzar a preparar un golpe para el FBI. ¿De? O sea, otra vez no vamos a conseguir dinero ni nada realmente. Vamos, Trevor. Want to hear how your tax dollars aren't working and then fume and disgust? Rumbo a Paleto Bay. This is Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Now, we got a funding problem, so we need a job. A 
before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Ah, o sea, ¿realmente vamos a hacer un golpe para poder conseguir dinero para comprar el helicóptero que nos pidió el FBI? No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gotta be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why? Are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, don't because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. Y ese probablemente es uno de los mejores diálogos en todo el juego. Michael tratando de hipster a Trevor. Bien, y ya que el diálogo concluyó, podemos ir al punto de misión. stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Bastante, por lo visto. Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm -hmm. oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. 
Vamos al banco entonces para que Lester pueda echarle un vistazo y nos dé misiones de preparación, obviamente. El banco está justo acá. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Y aquí estamos en el solar de al lado. It's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. We're going to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Bien, disparar la alarma. Okay, I brought my police scanner and drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor. Hey! And we'll monitor chatter. Muy bien, es hora de ir a monitorear las cosas en la gasolinera del frente. Roger that, four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're going to set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not? ¿Qué, qué, qué está haciendo Trevor? ¿Qué quiere hacer? I'm not going to outrun a cop. We've got to go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Voy a votar a Trevor. No, no lo votemos porque probablemente no hagan repetir la misión. Eh, me quedo con Michael. Vamos más cómodos en el auto, pero... What the fuck? He hecho una carrera de hasta su oficina. Ay, tenemos que volver entonces al desierto. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. What Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab, just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole. Where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fun. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification. Minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. You've been day trading? No. God, no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading. But no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, 
There's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on, Messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Bien, al menos hay ideas, cierto? Hay ideas y Trevor sigue ahí atrás. Pero, salvo que ocurra algo muy extraño. No deberíamos de ser vencidos, ¿cierto? Oh, oh, que se está adelantando, Trevor. Como siempre, hablé demasiado pronto. Bien, está quedando atrás Trevor. Por acá. Y le ganamos las carreras a, a, a su propia oficina. LOL. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down. Always has. What took you so long? What took you so long? <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Bien, elegir a uno bueno. A ver, ¿a quién tenemos acá? Eh, disparo presión armas. Chef. Think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. Y creo que Chef podría ser el truco acá. Cobra eh, un poco mejor que Gustavo Mota y cobra menos. O podríamos traer a Daryl Jones, que probablemente lo maten apenas salgamos del banco, pero nos ahorramos su tajada. Bien, vamos con Chef. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Come on, shoot yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bien, me encanta la filosofía de Trevor. Eh, ¿Para qué queremos un baño si la casa puede ser nuestro propio baño? Orinar en una esquina, 
dropear un mojón en otra, vomitar por aquí y por allá, ¿cierto? Bien, muchas más misiones que hacer, pero eso lo veremos ya en el próximo episodio. Si les gustó este video, recuerden suscribirse al canal, síganme en Twitter, síganme en Facebook, síganme en Instagram, síganme en todos lados y compartan el video con todos sus amigos para que todos puedan ver los puntos bajos de casarse. Así que no se casen. Que estén bien, nos vemos. Chao. Chao.